and welcome back to my channel. Today I have been tagged with the lovely Kirsty Elizabeth to do the Halloween tag and my dog is running around in circles. So that's going to be annoying if she does that for the whole video. Um, hence why she's gone. Hence why I am kind of dressed up as a cat. This was the best I can do. It is five past eight on a Sunday morning. I really, really wanted to get this video up before Halloween. Um, the clocks have changed. I'm a bit of a mess, but I did this. So hopefully this counts for Halloween. If you're new to my channel, I don't, I'm not normally this dramatic. That's a lie. I can be quite dramatic, but I'm not normally a cat. I'm normally a human person. But anyway, I'm going to start with the questions because there is 30. Wow. Okay. We're going to do like a quick fire thing here. Favourite holla, 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 favourite horror or Halloween themed song? I don't really like many of them. The only one that I probably get a bit like Ooh, is Monster Mash. I'm not going to sing it for you. That would be too embarrassing. Probably that. The other one I really like is from um, Nightmare Before Christmas, where it's like, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Ooh. That one. Why am I not going to sing anymore? It's too embarrassing. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. Probably anything. Anyone I didn't know, anything I didn't know. Ghosts, zombies. Stuff like that. Three. Have you ever pay, played, play, oh, so you can tell it's eight o'clock in the morning. Played with a Ouija board. No, I haven't. Every time I had a sleepover when I was little, we were always like, ah, oh, we're gonna get the Ouija board out, we're gonna do it. And we always, hello, always chickened out. Always, never played with the Ouija board. Ugh. Number four, favorite horror monster or villain? Now, if we're going for favorite villain of all time, it would have to be Negan on The Walking Dead. He lights up my life with his villainous ways. I absolutely adore Walking Dead. It's my favorite program probably ever. And Negan is just icing on the cake. And I'm certain there's a time when he will have to be and I will probably cry, which is really bad because he's done so many horrific things to a group that I really, really care about. But he's just so darn funny that I love him so much. If we're going for a movie though, that's pretty difficult. Maybe the two guys from Scream, because again, they were funny. They did make me laugh. Um, five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened when you're alone will always and forever be when I have a dog. My dog that I have at the moment doesn't do it so often, but my dog that I had before used to do it, oh, whenever I was alone, will just stare at a wall. Just a blank bit of the wall, they'll just sit there and stare at. And it's really, really creepy because you're just there like, can they see something? Because I always believe that animals are a bit more in tune to what's around them than we are. And it's like, what can they see? Can they see a ghost? Who can they see? What is, oh my God. And that's really creepy. Six, if you were dead to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Are you paying me? I always think, you know, these things where they're like, oh, if someone offered you a million pounds to stay in the haunted house and stuff yeah I would do it for a million pound just of a dare probably probably not not if I'm alone if I'm with people maybe not if I'm alone my cat's joined me now and he's trying to eat things he shouldn't be run kitty okay seven are you superstitious yes very superstitious It's a little bit of plastic that my cat has found and just wants to. 
seven. Are you superstitious? Yes. Dog has rejoined. I'm very superstitious. I don't do like umbrellas in the house. I don't walk under ladders. I don't stand on cracks or three drains. Mm. I don't. If I was to break a mirror, I'd probably have some kind of like emotional meltdown. The only thing that I am not superstitious about is black cats. Hmm. Eight, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, all the time. And I usually think it's my cat and then I look and my cat's not there and they're upstairs so it couldn't have even possibly have been them. And I'm very like, oh God, what was that? What was that? Number nine, which urban legend scares you the most? I only know the urban legends from the film series franchise urban legend and the one that has stuck with me is the one where you flash your car lights at someone that doesn't have car lights on and then that's a signal for them to track you down and kill you and all that. That has freaked me out, my baby car. That has freaked me out. Every time I see someone without lights, I don't really enjoy having to tell them because I'm afraid they're going to kill me. Hmm. Number 10. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Gore I love watching because I'm just a bit weird like that, but I find them quite funny. Um, Saw has to obviously be one of the ultimates. It's just idiots really isn't it so it's funny thrillers i'm assuming we're meaning like horror thrillers psychological thrillers they get me things like the ring and blair witch and stuff like that no 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 stay away you scare me too much i'm just gonna pick pick my dog up because i think she wants some attention mm. see cats and dogs can be friends not really well don't don't kiss me because you'll ruin my nose Okay, well, where are we? 11. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? No. Never really thought about it. No, probably not, to be honest. Probably not. Uh, da, 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 da. Tw 12. Have you ever made a potion of any sort? No, I haven't, which is surprising. I would have thought I would have been someone that would have, but no, I haven't. 13, do you get scared easily? Yes, very easily. Very, very easily, anything. Theme park rides, movies, TV programs, someone jumping out from behind the door, creaky floorboard. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. 14, have you ever played Bloody Mary? I think I remember what this is. But no, I haven't. Again, it was something we've probably discussed at sleepovers and just never did it. Um, 15. Do you believe in demons, the devil? Yes, I do. I don't really know how to expand on that, but yes, I do think there is an evil being of something that exists. Uh, 16. You're home alone but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Freak out? See I quite often hear like little noises because I've got a baby monitor on and I don't always remember to turn it off like when I've got her from her nap and you could sometimes hear like like almost like a clink or a crack from it. And I'm sure it's just floorboards, water pipes, whatever. But when that happens, I like it's an immediate look at the monitor because I just picture that someone's broken in and they're like rifling through my baby's clothes or something, like her wardrobe. Yeah, that scares me. Playing with the cat. Okay, 
17. If you're trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Scream. It has to be Scream. Mainly because I am fairly certain on my capability of surviving that movie. Others I'm not so sure of. I'd love to be like, yeah, I would so survive a zombie apocalypse. I can't run very fast. I get tired easily. I don't do well without food. So I don't think I would survive a zombie apocalypse very well. So it would have to be something like Scream that I actually stand a chance of surviving in. Uh, if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? It would actually be a cat. It's always my go-to. I actually enjoy being a cat. I have two cats. I've had cats as well in the past. Doggy's going again. Um, I'd be a cat. Hmm. 19. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes. I don't find graveyards particularly scary or creepy. I find them quite peaceful and calming and it's where people go to rest. So day or night I'd be fine with it. 20. In a zombie apocalypse what is your weapon of choice? I mean anyone that has watched The Walking Dead. It's gonna be Michonne's sword. I'm gonna get in trouble for saying sword because it's not called a sword and I can never remember the name of it. But basically a samurai sword. Is that a samurai? That really sharp sword. That would be my weapon of choice. It makes no noise so therefore does not attract others like a gun will. Also doesn't require an awful lot of precise aim like a gun or a crossbow. I can just stand there wielding a sword and hopefully get them. It's also quite quite long so they don't have to get like right up here for you to like stab their head. You could, you could do it from a distance. I'm gonna say that. Mm -hmm. Uh, 21. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Halloween party, hands down, there's probably alcohol, food. Trick-or-treating I always used to not enjoy when I was younger as well because I don't really like going to strangers' houses. I don't really like knocking on strangers' doors and stuff like that. So that's, I'm never going to choose to have that as my like fun evening entertainment. I'm gonna probably have to make my husband take my daughter when she's old enough to go because I just, I, I don't think I'll be able to do it, quite frankly. My hair's gone a bit flat, it's a bit boring. Mm. 22, you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? I really, really hope I'm the final girl. I really hope that I'm the one that figures it all out and manages to take revenge on the killers and stuff. I do worry I'd be the first to die. But I'm going to go with the last girl. Yeah. 23. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Yeah, most of the time. Even after Walking Dead, which I love. It doesn't generally like... It's not like a horror. But I do have thoughts if it's been a particularly bad episode. So I do sort of lie in bed watching like a comedy show like Friends or something like that. Just to wind my mind down a little bit. 24. Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters? The person with their eyes covered the whole time? Or the person who falls asleep? I have a mixture between one and two. I do tend to yell at stupid people that are in horror movies like when they're like they run up the stairs instead of out the front door or they're like creeping and they never ever look behind them obviously they're gonna be behind you that's so frustrating so they're the ones i shout at but if it's really creepy like more psychological more like you can't really see the threat then i'm like this oh god oh my god oh 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 no 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 I'm that person. 25. Are you the one who gets scared or the one that does the scaring? I get scared very easily from TV and stuff like that, but I'm an excellent scarer. I'm the one that hides behind the door and jumps out quickly. 
so I'm probably the scarer to be honest. Number 26, favourite scary book. I haven't actually read any scary books. I really want to read Dracula. I'm currently reading, handily placed here, Frankenstein. I'm only like a third of the way in, it's not very scary at the moment, so I can't really say that's my favourite scary book because it's not scary yet, so I have no favourite scary book. 27, how old were you when you f saw your first horror movie? Probably between the eight, probably around 11 at a sleepover. I remember the first one I watched was Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, things like that. So probably around 11. Not allowed at all really, but... 28, itchy. Hmm. 28, what was your first Halloween costume? I think it was a witch. I dressed as a witch a lot when I was younger and then when I got older I dressed as a cat a lot. But I think it was a witch. 29. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Nothing. Probably not doing anything for Halloween this year. It's my daughter's first Halloween. She's only eight months old so she has a cute little skeleton onesie that she's going to wear but we're not gonna go out, we're not gonna do anything, so this is probably as Halloween-y as I'm gonna get this year. So it's pretty cool that I got to do a little something something. And the last question, 30. If you would have a spooky Halloween pet, a black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, what would you pick? I have two cats. I'll always take more, so I would take the black cat. Owls, I, I don't like birds. Bats, it's a bird thing again, I don't like it. Rat, no. Wolf. Yes, has to be the wolf. I'm also a big Game of Thrones fan and I would love Ghost. The big one's well, probably up here actually, isn't he? Big white wolf. Mm. Uh, wolf. So that is all 30 questions of the Halloween tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe because I'm putting up a few more videos than usual. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone for this because it's Halloween in like two days time so I feel that's a lot of pressure on someone to film, edit and upload in that time but if you would like to do this tag go ahead it's really really fun. I'll put the questions down below so that you can join in or even pick it up again next year. Yes it will come back around. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.